welcome fellow folders and today this video is a special paper unboxing from Paper Circle. If you don't already know, Paper Circle are the ones that create Ogami. I've only ever bought four sheets of that paper in my life. I'm scared to use it because it's that good and that expensive. Um, so a few little things before we start the unboxing video. I'm recording in 4K. We have two cameras. I'm going to render in 4K, even though one footage is 4K, the other is not. I will see how that turns out, just for experiments. Secondly, they sent whatever is inside here on them. This is a generous gift for them, because they saw my uh, the video I did on their paper when I unboxed it, the most expensive origami paper, where I unboxed, I think it was, or I reviewed the their organic paper and they thought it would be nice if they could allow me to uh, ask to send some more paper to me for an unboxing video and of course share it everywhere, advertise for them, uh, the link to their shop is in the description, make sure to check it out, it's in the comments. Now a little recap just to see what they have sent, they did uh, message me a few times over the past few months or a few months. Um, so they sent some extras, one large double sided 10 inch square, double sided, we did not sell this, was a piece that did not turn out so we cut a square for yourself only, wow that's amazing, <laughs> um, one 10 inch, uh, one 8 inch, a 7 inch, we included an invoice, we also sent one of our swatch booklets, so I'm excited to see what we have and store. It's very nice of them to send this paper on their behalf and they wanted to cover the costs to obviously get this to me and wow it's amazing. Look at this. If you've never bought paper from Paper Circle this is what it comes in, a tube. This is how you ship paper in a tube um, so there's no creases. You can send paper whatever size the tube you'll have zero creases so you don't fold it in half and half again like other places do. If you're going to sell paper, do it in a tube the proper way. It's quite crazy. Of course I've hid the, the tracking code. I don't need to hide this address because this is my PO Box address which I gave to them to send to. Um, it's quite crazy. Uh, we have They've almost, they've basically sent $95 worth of paper, um, so that's crazy. Wow, thank you so much. Um, I never really noticed that until just there, um, because I've put this away, ready to unbox it when I received it. So without further ado, let's start the unboxing. So I think I will just... Oh, I need scissors. Yeah, I think I need scissors. And I think I'll probably only need to do just the one side. But I'll do both, just in case. You never know. One of the most fun parts is taking this all apart and seeing what we have inside. I don't need to take that off. Let's put all these tape to the side. Okay, so let me just show it from the other camera. Hopefully, I can't see what it's recording. I know it's recording, but I can't see. Hopefully, you can make that out. And we are ready to unbox this. I love these little parts, they've got a, a nice little um, over, overlap that you can grab and open up. So let's do this. Yeah, I don't want to take my nails off doing that way. Maybe. And you can tell when this is this hard to get off that. That fits perfectly. It's well 
wrapped over almost there. There we go. Can't really see inside because of the, the camera angle and the paper, uh, the table. You can probably see better from that one. The most exciting part. So, and it comes in a tube. This is how their paper arrives when, of course, you buy it. It comes in a nice plastic, um, uh, basically, sealment. Oh wow. And there we go. We can get rid of this tube. And we have the paper. How nice is that? How nice is this? Of course, their store. Well, I don't, I don't even want to open it, I just want to keep it like this. It's so nice, like that. You could basically just put that somewhere and let it display. But we need to open it, we need to see this paper. You can already see some of it right there. I think I'm just going to cut straight up. done such a nice job of wrapping this up that just it comes across as so professional so they've sent some paper that they don't sell so I'm curious to see what that is and double sided as well and a little swatch for clut which is so tiny look at all that paper inside Samples are the best thing ever. I'll show that better after we film the main part. So let's take this off. We'll check the invoice at the end. Oh, it's more to it. Oh, the outside isn't the actual paper. I was thinking they've, they've sent a really nice white sheet, but it's not. It's just, oh, say an extra layer of protection. Oh, I won't cut it anyway, just in case if it is. I don't think it is. But. Now, the moment of truth. Yeah, this is definitely just like printer paper. I love the I love the colours already. This is <laughs> oh my god. This is so nice. More Ogami. So double sided Ogami. Look at that. Just just listen. No sound enhance enhancements have been made. That is so nice. And a small, oh, green and light green. We have like a brown as well, a blue. Wow. Wow. So nice. Um, I need to try and find something to weigh it down. Maybe to help so it doesn't feel like it keeps falling over itself. Pop that there. Let's pop that there. So they have sent wow. just the shine. The shine on that is so nice. Really nice thickness as well. I think that would be so nice for a vase. You can see a really nice, unique, slimly curved vase with this paper. Really nice shine of blue as well. And I'll check the invoice after we review the paper just to see exactly the colours that they have sent, the sizes and thicknesses. But I just want to see the paper first. 
that's so nice. Let's check this P1. Yeah, this is definitely thinner. I think that may be, that may be double. Double. It feels thicker, it's definitely thicker. Maybe it's, no. No, cause, uh, because they do different uh, sizes, no. They do different thicknesses as well, so that's probably a, a, a thicker thickness. But yeah, this is the thinner one. But just, just listen. No sound effects have been added. It's so nice. I just, I love the colours. One of the things that I love the most about paper is the colour. You can capture so many colours on a single sheet. And we have... Is this the, the double? No, it's not. Okay, so this is the double, I believe. So we have the green on one side and a whiter one on the other. I think that would be nice for a cadet. What do you think? That is, I think that is thinner. No, yeah, that feels thinner than this one. You know, it's cool to think that. Oh, maybe this is just one sheet. No, I don't think it could be. I think it's probably two. Well, it feels thinner than the normal. Maybe this is. No, maybe this is the thin option. The thin option, the medium option, and the thicker option. I'm going to guess that's what that is, but we won't find out until the once I check the invoice. But just so nice. And it's a really, I can tell from the thickness of it, it that would suit a lot of models. So I need, I need ideas on what to fold with this. I definitely want to use this for something. I love how it's, first of all it's green, but we have darker parts of green here. I don't know how well you can see it from the footage, but it's darker here, it's lighter here, it's much lighter here. I love that really, that abstract look of green where it's not a solid green, it's darker, lighter, thinner here. So it's really nice. And of course the white, uh, maybe a cicada, because we have the color change in it. Maybe, maybe one of Robert Lyons, maybe a simple one. You know, the nice green rich body and then the white wings. I think that would be really nice. You know, that's definitely a, a, a model I may use with this sheet. And we have a nice terracotta, a really rich brown. Again, I don't know how well you can see the shine. I'll get a lot of pictures of this as well, but it's got such a unique shine. And it would be cool if they could, I'm, I'm, I'm wondering if they can make custom sizes, like can they make uh, 100 centimeters for one sheet? Can they do that? If you can, um, you'll expect a few sheets from me, definitely. But it's such a unique paper and this I believe is the thicker one, I think this is the same thickness as the blue. Yeah, it definitely feels the same thickness. But it's just... It's such a pleasure to receive paper from someone else. Doesn't matter if you buy it as a gift like this, which they are extremely generous and nice for doing. It's, it's, it's just so nice to have a good selection of paper under your belt that you can decide that you can choose from and what to use. That would be good for what the the Blackfish Owl. Or even though it's too small for it, but that's a really nice shade for it as well. And we have more shine on this side. And less on the side. I like this side much better. This is so nice. So we have four sheets already. Now let's take these off and um, I want to see this large 
Let's hold up first. Let's put some of these here. But I think this is the one that didn't turn out that great for them. Um, but I think it, turned, I mean, it looks great. Or maybe that was that small green one. Maybe it was that one. Again, I'll check. That in there, but what should I make of this? Look at that colour. How nice is that colour? A really rich, unique, vibrant pink. I'm thinking maybe some sort of fish. Maybe it has colour changes. Like that could be the body. We have colour changes here again. I'm not entirely sure, so I need recommendations, everyone, to what to make uh, to fold from this. But it is so nice, and it is a great size as well. I believe this is the size that uh, organic comes in. Uh, yeah, it's been a while since I ordered some, so I'm pretty sure this is the final size. Though I need to uh, double check. But it's so nice. Uh, it's a really nice thickness as well. I would suit a lot of models. We have received some very cool paper. And it's going to go really nice for my collection. Um, and the little booklet, Ogami Paper Circle, their website, which is in the description. Again, make sure to check it out. So, we have an order of the appearance, Midnight Green. Now, these are such a good thing to do, just to send little samples. It gives you a good idea of the colour um, and everything. Oh, they've they've uh, wrote on the numbers as well. So, like, one, two, Etc. Oh wow, there's how many? There's 15. Wow. So number one is Midnight Green. Number two is Deep Forest. Again, so unique. Number three is Purple Burgundy Wine. I love the. Wow. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. Listen. I love that thickness. Oh, that's a nice colour. That is a nice colour. Purple burgundy wine. We have red burgundy wine. And the, the, I believe these are all different thicknesses as well. Yeah. So unique. Do we have, oh, we have a jet black. So I want to see what that's like. Jet black. Number five is red hot. That would go next for a lobster. Maybe even have it darker, like really rich dark. Maybe like a combo of the red burgundy and the red hot would make a nice lobster. I think that would be really, really sick. Number six is the tangerine. Number seven is the bright yellow. Again, really nice shine. Go really nice for a phoenix. Number eight is the the mocha. Again, maybe that would be nice for like a dinosaur. Number nine is espresso. That is nice. That's really nice. Number ten is pewter. Okay. I'm, I'm digging this colour. I believe this is like some sort of grey, greyish type. I've never heard of pewter uh, before, so I'm going to assume it's a grey of some sort, maybe a darkish grey. But again, that's so nice, that one. Number 11 is Antique Gold. Again, that would go nice for a vase. Or even um, the Infinity Gauntlet. It's a really nice, rich gold. I mean, it's got that gold, but it's got that old gold look, which I think would go nice for the Infinity Gauntlet. Number 12 is Copper. Again, so unique. The shines, the luster. 
that comes through it. Number 13 is Slate, so we have a dark grey. Again, that could go really nice for a hippo. Yeah, I think that would actually, a really nice hippo. It's got a really nice shine as well. Number 14 is the Jet Black. That is really, really black. That's so nice. I mean, it's black, but it's almost a hint of blue as well. That's so cool. And finally, number 15 is the Pearl White. Now, this is the paper I originally bought with one of the four sheets that I purchased a while ago. Um, and this is the one I used for Kimia's Pegasus. Um, it was the thin option, I believe this is like the middle, thicker option, or the thick option, but so unique. <laughs> I'm going to treasure this, this is so cool. Um, yeah, I definitely think I'll be getting more uh, Ogami very soon. Um, yeah, I think that is it. I'm going to get pictures of this, I'm going to look at it more in the and micro lens and much more detail and we'll go from there. Now this is everything that they have sent. Very kindly took the time to package all this up to send to me on behalf of them. Um, so thank you so much Paper Circle. If you don't already know everyone, the website is here. Of course it's linked in the description, it's pinned in the comments. Make sure to check it out post their address as well um, and it comes in available in super thin, medium and ultra thicknesses, luster samples in this book were made from medium weight Ogami paper. Order online, which you should. Extremely unique paper um, I think, even though it's expensive, I think you should at least try it out as such a nice paper and you will love it. Now the invoice that they sent so let's check, they sent a double sided mocha luster, which I believe is this one. Again, so cool. They sent a well blue luster size, thickness, medium, 6 to 8, GSM, 6 inch, so that must be this one. They sent a green grass mat, thickness, 28 GSM, super thin, so that may be this one. You don't even need to hold this paper or have it to know how good it is. Yeah, it's so unique. They sent a swatch booklet which we have seen and the 8 inch double sided square special which must be this one. And it's so unique. I mean it's so nice and so thin as well. And of course the very large sheet. And the swatch booklet, which we'll try and go through some of them. Go through all of them. Again, just look at the colours, the textures. A great variety and selection of paper. I almost forgot the important little message they have wrote. 
Thank you, Pru. Now, thank you very much, Pru, and thank you for the rest of the team for helping to make this happen. So that is it. Thank you so much again, Paper Circle, for taking the time and being extremely nice and generous for sending me this incredible selection of Ogami paper. Everyone, make sure to go check out their website. Again, follow their Instagram pages. Um, it's all linked in the description and in the comments. And also, everyone, what should I make from these sheets? Model recommendations, please. Post them in the comments as well. And everyone, thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you liked the amazing paper that they sent. So thank you so much for watching everyone and I will see you in the next video.